我我觉得从我们这四年的这个这个跟呃公众的这种接触上，呃，非常明显的感到零八年以后，呃，中国人对奥运呃精神的理解，包括对这个奥运这个盛会的这种期待。还是非常非常强烈的As the Olympic flame was lit in Athens and begins its torch relay, so events organisers around the UK are gearing up for a summer of fun. Most cultures can be defined by their music, and with a rich heritage of classical pop, rock, dance, and jazz, the UK has a key role on the world music stage. As a culmination of the cultural Olympiad, the London 2012 festival will see music and the arts embrace the momentum of the Olympics. The River of Music is an exciting venture that features collaborative performances from artists representing more than 200 of the countries competing in the 2012 Games, performing along the Thames. This is David Jones, director of Sirius, the music producers behind the event. I think most of the audiences and most of the artists who come to uh, BT River of Music are going to be people who are fired up by it, who are excited, who are going to want new things, and for whom the whole Olympic experience in all its forms is a journey of discovery. But it's not just the UK where festivals are being held to coincide with the London Games. In China, a whole host of activities are planned to get everyone into the Olympic spirit. At the iconic Beijing Olympic Water Cube, director Yang Qiyong employed architects Jia Lu and Takako Shimada to design a London-themed street. This year is the Olympic year. So, the Olympic Water Cube is in the third year of the Olympic Games. We think that the Olympic Water Cube still has its energy and creative potential. 那么，呃，今年是伦敦奥运年。那么，我们希望通过这个项目啊，能够在北京和伦敦两个城市之间创造一种这个，呃，奥运精神的和文化上的这种交流。那么，也希望呢，呃，北京的游客能够通过这个项目，能够切身亲身的体验到伦敦奥运的激情。嗯、um, ，I think there are maybe two key elements. One is, of course, the Olympic, uh, the Olympic in London, and then the other thing we also want to uh, achieve is basically the environment or like the experience for people to enjoy Olympic as if they were in London. Before the 2008, I think China to a lot of people outside is still very mysterious or like people don't really know what's happening. And then, but the probably the opening ceremony has gave everybody a very good impression. So I feel like uh, after that, the whole China, the people feel a bit different about ourselves because we think we have proved something to the world. And then now this is the directly next Olympic. So I'm sure like people are very interested. Maybe they also interested in the comparison, like how London is holding it, and you know. So I I think people are very very excited about it. The British Council in China has been busy organising the UK Arts Now Festival with hundreds of performances, exhibitions, films, concerts, talks, workshops, and masterclasses taking place in 17 cities across China. This is David Elliott, the Director of Arts at the Cultural and Education section of the British Embassy. UK Now follows on from China Now. When the Olympics were on in Beijing in 2008, there was a major cultural festival in the UK called China Now. Which was initiated by、um, businesses, actually, not by the government, and it was very successful. lasted a whole year. It was very broad in scope, and what we're doing in China is、um, following on from that, but we're、uh, condensing it down into eight months, and it's very much focused on the arts.、Um, but it's run by、uh, pretty much or funded by the the same、uh, sponsors as China now, with a with a few additional ones. So there's a very close ties between the two. Two of the events are connected to the Olympics. Uh, one is an exhibition of the London Olympic posters, which is touring to six or seven cities across China. It's currently on in Beijing at the Red Star Gallery, and、uh, another project is called the Big Dance,、uh, and it's about、uh, 
normal people dancing to uh, a set choreography, public dance, um, uh, and it will come at, culminate in Trafalgar Square on the 14th of July, and it will in, involve um, a film of Chinese dancers uh, around the Olympic Stadium dancing to the same choreography and also from Rio, and they will be on a big screen in Trafalgar Square on the 14th of July. Yang Ji Hong admits getting to the London Spirit has been fun, but when it comes down to what really matters, the Chinese visitors to the Water Cube are all anxious about one thing this summer. Exciting events throughout the summer of 2012 will offer the chance to see live music and arts events both in the UK and in China. Many are free and open to the public in the hope that whoever wins the gold medals, everyone gets a chance to enjoy the Olympic spirit this summer. This is DJ Clark with a very hoarse voice, back in Beijing for China Daily.